So we've got a question here. We've got y equals x squared minus 6px minus 7. Now, taking a look at this, we've got x squared, x, and a constant. So this is the form of a quadratic where a is 1, b is minus 6p, and c is minus 7. Now, the parameters we're given is that p is greater than 0. So this b term is always going to be a minus value. Then what we need to do is these three jobs here. Sketch the graph, coordinates of the turning point, and the coordinates of the y-intercept. So, can't really sketch the graph just yet. I might want to do some algebra or work out one of these two things first. So, looking at this, coordinates of the y-intercept, that looks the easiest bit to start with. So, that's the y-axis. Now, where the graph will touch that y-axis is when x equals zero. So if I plug x equals zero into here, so for x equals zero, I get zero squared minus six p times zero minus seven. That gives me my y value. Zero minus zero, still zero, and minus seven. So for x equals zero, y equals minus seven. So let's pick a point on this graph here where x could be 0 and y could be minus 7. So y is minus 7, maybe somewhere around that point there. Now let's sketch a quadratic with the y-intercept at that point there. Now we know that the turning point is going to be below this. So the quadratic is going to come down something like that. Now we also see that the a value is positive 1, so it's going to be cup-shaped. So it's going to be like this. So the quadratic could take a shape a bit similar to this, where it goes off to infinity in this each side of the uh, axis of the x, the positive and minus axis. So that's the coordinates of the y-intercept. So it's at 0, comma, minus 7. So that's our bit there. Now we want to find this bit here. So that's the turning point or the minimum value of our quadratic for y. So how do we find that? There's a couple of ways. One way we could use x equals minus b over 2a, calculate what that is and then plug it in, or we could just simply take the square of this quadratic. Now for me taking a square probably looks the easiest bit because that will give us our x value and our y value in one go. So let's take the square of this. So let's rewrite it, x squared minus 6px minus 7. So taking the square, we write this as a single indice. So we get y equals x minus. Now we've got to take half of this. So we've got minus 6p divided by 2 is minus 3p. So 3p, and then we square that. We keep the minus 7, and now we need to put another number in here. To, to even to, to correct things because if we square this we will have gained another term so we need to subtract something that is going to give us when this is square so minus 3p squared so minus 3p squared gives us 9p squared so that's what we've got there so minus 9p squared minus 7 so that's taking the square so now what we need to do is set this to zero. So zero equals x minus 3p squared minus, and now put this all in brackets here, I've got 9p squared and then plus 7 because I've got minus and a minus, I'll put that to a plus. Okay, so now using this square form of my quadratic, I can see when this becomes zero at x equals 3p. So my x coordinate is going to be 3p. Now my y coordinate is going to be all of this on my minimum. So I've got minus 9p squared plus 7. Okay, so for example, in this case here, if p equals 1, I've got my x is 3. Uh, my y-coordinate will be 9 times 1 squared, which is 9, 
plus 7 is 16, and with this minus, minus 16. So that would be my coordinate there. And another example, just to finish this off, P equals 2. My X would be 6. And my Y would be 9 times 2 squared, which is 9 times 4, which is 36, plus 7 is 43. And with this minus sign, I've got minus 43. And that completes our question. So sketch the graph. That's a sketch of the graph with the coordinates of the turning point. That's what they are. And the coordinates of the y-intercept is 0, minus 7. Okay.